Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Sip and Review. My name is Chantel, and today I will be doing a review on Chasing Atlanta Season 4 Episode 10, the season finale. Guys, before I get started, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, thumbs this video up by giving it a like, and hit the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. Let's get started. So the episode started out with them playing the music video, and the music video was nice. I'm loving it. Alanda, yes, you better rap, B. Alanda sounds good, and it's really a bop. Now, Alanda got bars. Um, They all were really on point on this video. So... So, Hey Coco from SWV. SWV is my favorite music group, by the way, honey. I grew up listening to them, and I still listen to them today. So, I will definitely be listening to their songs after this show goes off, and that's exactly what I did, okay? And Coco is a friend slash mentor to Travis. Now, I am agreeing with Dominique. Real friends support you. Lauren is always too busy to come to anyone's event. And the truth is that Lauren doesn't handle conflict well. You know, she does not want to be involved in any drama. So, that's why Lauren does not show up because she don't have time for the bs travis all white party it had no food he said that they had no food because the person that was supposed to bring the food to this event didn't show up with the food and at this point i'm thinking you could have called uber eats doordash grubhub either one of them to bring the food or you could have had an event where people you know simply bought their own favorite dish so troy had a conversation with kendra to squash the beef about the fight at the birthday brunch so everyone is selling their difference at the party thus far without fighting because you know travis event is basically about everyone you know getting everything off their chest and squashing the beef and letting go of old drama that they had going on so q and wayne they finally talked so lauren was sitting up there playing with her cell phone ignoring everyone Lauren is pissed because Kendra keep on calling her Jalen now. Jalen is Lauren. And Lauren is transitioning. And Kendra, you wrong for that because you didn't want nobody calling you your birth name. Okay? During your transitioning. So, that is really shady. Okay? And I've know that you are purposely offending her okay so you don't want anyone calling you your birth name which is true because you would tell that place up now moving on lauren said that she's going to drag kendra if she calls her Jalen again now kendra is still mad with lauren for talking bad about her hair when she was transitioning instead so that is what's the problem now lauren you did have a hair shop and kendra felt like you could have did her hair for her you know helped her look good because she really didn't know how to style her own hair during this time and as a friend she felt like you would have looked out for her so she's still holding a grudge from that apparently so lauren pulls out the receipts why is wayne Pull a twig to the side to talk to him. So, at this point, Q was trying to calm Lauren down. You know, Lauren begins to get upset. Now, Lauren receives shows the real reason why Kendra went to jail. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, everything's in the envelope. Now, Lauren is mad. 
still about everything. You know, she looks like she's about to tear Travis house up. Thank goodness. Kendra and Twix are finally talking. So here's the reason why, you know, Twix was being pulled to the side so they can have a discussion now. Kendra said that she wants her friends back and to end all of the drama. Laura was waving an envelope with the receipts. Travis and the other cast members took the envelope to find out the tea. Now, I am so glad that Kendra can be free much longer. Um, They did show the clip where she did have her court day. So, I was pleased to see that she beat her court case in. That is amazing. She just needs to continue to work on bettering herself. And I see an improvement in Kendra. I really do. That was really big of her to come to the event and talk to Twix without getting upset and cutting the food. Even when Kendra was talking to Lauren, Kendra was not her usual self you know usually Kendra would have jumped up ready to drag a bitch so she did not do that and that was a milestone for Kendra in my opinion so guys that is the end of my commentary and please do not forget to click on my photo by subscribing and give this video a thumbs up by liking it Hit the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. And check out my podcast, Sip and Review. I have some more things coming to my podcast. A possible collaboration with one of my friends who is also a podcaster as well. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye now.